Lesson 81, A Romantic Story Betty, are you and John still dating? Yeah, things are going really good. Where did you meet him? I met him at the library a couple of weeks ago. We were sitting at the same table and he asked to borrow my pen. Wow, that's a nice story. I was telling Jim about it the other day. He thought it was pretty romantic. Do you two have plans for tonight? Yes, I think we're going to rent a movie. Have you seen anything good lately? I saw Spider-Man the other day. I've heard that's a really funny movie. Are you kidding? That movie's not funny. It's sad. I was crying at the end. You're really sensitive, aren't you? I guess so. Maybe that's why I can't find a girlfriend. Lesson 82, Worried About Dad Hi Peter, can I talk to you for a moment? I just heard the cookie factory downtown is going out of business. Where did you hear that? Sarah told me. I'm not sure that's true. I haven't heard anything about it. She said that they have already started to lay people off. Doesn't your father work there? Yes, I'm really worried he might get laid off. He just started to work there about three months ago. What do you think I should do? I'd talk to your father. Yeah, but if there was something wrong, I don't think he'd tell me. He doesn't like to upset me, but I really would like to know what's going on. So what are you gonna do? Aren't you good friends with the president of that company? Yes, we used to work together at a different company about five years ago. Maybe you could call him and see what's going on. Well, I don't know. I guess I could. It's pretty late now, but I'll call him in the morning. Okay, thanks so much. Lesson 83, I'm getting fat. Wow, I'm really getting fat. You don't look fat. Yes, but I am. I gained 10 pounds in the last two months. Look at my stomach. How much do you weigh? I think about 170 pounds. What kind of foods do you eat? I usually have pasta for dinner. Sometimes I get takeout or fast food if I don't have enough time to cook. I was reading a diet book the other day. It said that if you eat meat and nothing else, you'll lose weight quickly. Wow, does that work? I don't know, but someone told me they tried it and lost 20 pounds. That sounds good, but I'm not sure how long I could do that. I know, once you start eating vegetables and bread again, you'll probably start gaining weight. Well, I think I'm going to try it anyway. Who's the author? I can't remember. It's not that popular anymore. When I get home, I'll check and give you a call. Lesson 84, I'll take you to work. Hello? Hi Sarah, it's James. Hey James, I can't talk now. Can I call you back later? Sure. Is there a problem? I'm late for work and my car isn't working, so I need to find someone to take me to work. I can take you. Oh, really? Thank you. That would help a lot. Do you need me to pick you up after work also? Yes, if it's not too much trouble. It's no problem. I'm leaving my house now. I'll be right there. Okay. I'll wait for you in front of my apartment building. Do you know what's wrong with your car? I'm not exactly sure. I think there's a problem with the engine. Okay, I'll have a look when I get there. I know a lot about cars. When I was younger my father and I used to fix old cars. Lesson 85, Snowing Outside Hey, what have you been doing today? Nothing, just watching TV. I'm really bored. I don't have anything to do. I don't have anything to do either. I didn't do anything today except clean my house. I know. I was planning to go to the mall today with one of my friends, but it snowed so much we couldn't go anywhere. 
I hope it snows all night because I don't want to go to school tomorrow. Do you know anyone who has a camera? I want to take a picture of all this snow. No, I don't know anyone who has a camera. Have you seen Sarah today? I think she might have one. No, she hasn't been around all day. She said she had something important to do today. Oh, where did she go? Nobody knows. I called her roommate and she doesn't know either. Lesson 86, Missed Call Mandy, did you know Heather called you? No. When did she call? Two hours ago, I think. Two hours ago? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Sorry, I forgot. What did she say? She said she was waiting for you at her sister's place. Okay, I was going to cook dinner first, but I don't think I have enough time now. I'll just warm up some leftovers in the microwave. Okay. If she calls again, tell her I'm going to be late. Okay, no problem. This is very important. Don't forget. Don't worry. I won't forget. Actually, would you please hand me my phone? I think I should give her a call now. She's probably wondering where I am. Sure, I'll get it for you. Lesson 87, Shopping for a Friend I'm going shopping. Do you want to come? I thought you went shopping yesterday. I did, but an old friend called me last night and invited me to his birthday party. I need to buy a gift for him. I see. What are you going to get him? I really have no idea what he likes. I haven't seen him in a long time. What do you think? Maybe a cake? Well, that's a good idea, but I think I should probably get him something else, like something he can wear. How about a sweater? I saw a really nice one in the mall the other day. Maybe we can go there and take a look. Okay, what store was it in? It was at Macy's. I think they're having a sale this weekend. Oh, that's a really nice store. I like the clothes there. Lesson 88, what is your major? Hey Diane, what are you doing here? Hi, Tim, how are you? I'm waiting for a friend. I heard you're going to graduate this summer. Is that true? Yes. If everything goes all right, I'll be getting my bachelor's degree in August. Then I need to start looking for a job. I had to do that last year. It wasn't easy. Do you have any job offers? No, not yet. I sent out a lot of resumes, but I didn't receive many responses. It's pretty hard to find a job right now. What's your major? Psychology. That was my major when I started college, but I switched to engineering after the first year. I think it's easier for engineers to find a job. I'm not sure about that. It took me about three months to find a job. I finally was able to get a job after I put my resume on one of those job websites. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. If I can't find a job, I'll probably go back to school to get my master's degree. Lesson 89, New Apartment Hello? Hey Gary. What's up? I haven't talked to you in a long time. What's been happening? Well, I don't know if you heard, but I just moved into a new apartment in L.A. No, I heard you were thinking about moving, but I didn't know you'd already found a place. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Do you have any roommates? No, not this time. It's a big change for me, because I've never lived alone. Don't you think you'll be lonely? Not really, I have two friends who live in the same building. We all had dinner together last night. Are they students also? No, they're not students, but there are a lot of students living in the building. Sounds like a nice place. Yeah, I think it's a good environment for learning English. Well, I'm glad to hear everything worked out. 
You should come out here and visit me sometime. There's even a pool. That would be nice. I'll think about it. Lesson 90, have you found a girlfriend yet? Justin, have you found a girlfriend yet? No, not yet. What about Jenny? She has a boyfriend. Oh, I thought they broke up. No, they're still together. How about that girl from work you were telling me about last year? Who, Emily? She's married now. She got married last month. I see. It seems like everyone our age is married. Yeah, it's not easy. Is there anyone you're interested in? There is one girl I like who lives in my building. I talk to her a lot because she's also studying English. What's she like? She's really nice. She moved here from Texas about three months ago. What does she do? She's an accountant. That's a good job. She must be really smart. Have you asked her out yet? Actually, we're going to dinner on Friday. Good luck. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe our channel.